part of this demonstration will be covering the syncing of events when we are offline. We will first need to turn off any Wi-Fi or mobile data connection the device may have. And register another event in the Malaria Case Registration Program. Make sure you enter all of the sections within the event registration. We will enter the data quickly as data entry has already been covered in part two of this demonstration. Refer back to that section if necessary. After the event has been added, you can see it appears in the list of events for the Malaria Case Registration Program. Attempt to sync it with the online server by clicking on the Sync Status button. You will get an error message saying that network connection is not available. Now, turn the Wi Fi back on and try to sync by selecting the sync status. Now we can see that the send button appears, and we can then send the event to the server. The key takeaway is that you can see the event saves to the device, but is not able to sync to the server until a connection to the internet is available. By default, all events are stored to the Android device, even if you have an internet connection. Events are synced to your server either manually or using a sync strategy that sends bulk updates. While offline, both manual and automatic synchronization of events will not work, and the events will be stored locally on your Android device until the internet connection is restored. When your connection is restored, you can then choose to sync them manually, as we have demonstrated, or allow your automatic strategy to perform the synchronization. We hope you have found the demonstration of the Android Capture app useful. Let's review what we learned in this subsection. We installed the DHIS2 Capture app to an Android device. We logged into the application, explained the Capture App interface, registered an event through the app, demonstrated program rules in action on the Android device, looked at the settings for syncing data from the tablet to the online instance, and lastly, we also demonstrated how offline mode works. We hope you have been following along with the step-by-step -step activities listed under the videos. But if you haven't, please refer to them for extra practice to help ensure the understanding of the information presented on the DHIS2 Capture app for Android devices. Also, use the discussion forum to ask questions to other learners or facilitators.